Trump cannot be normalized. It, whenever he's covered, it's be Donald John Trump, comma, an adjudicated rapist in business fraud, comma, said today, blank. But when, because it's not to cover something once, and, and this is a very, very, very thing that happens, and I see this all the time. Well, James, we've already covered that. Well, when you got 26 out of 28 kids at a first-rank American university that don't realize that maybe you, maybe you haven't covered it enough. How in the fuck could you not know about E. Jean Carroll and what happened? What kind of bubble do they live in? This is like, in terms of their insanity, it's medium, maybe up, up a medium level. I mean, all you got to do is look at the Taylor Swift stuff. Hey, wait a minute, there's a lot of them saying that the NFL games are rigged. You got, you got Vivek Ramsawamy. Remember him? He was the guy with the Ivy League degree and was a tech pro. They have left crazy a long, long time ago. That, 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 that's so far in their rearview mirror, you can't imagine it. And let me tell you, this stuff is going to go on and on and on and on. And it, it's just where we are. Like, there's no other explanation for it. And, of course, Langford's a Old line conservative uh, went to Bible college, uh, was trying to hammer something out with Chris Murphy, who's also been on this show, I might add. And the idea that this is something remotely connected to policy, the idea that this is somehow remotely connected to the rule of law, is that's gone. That's in the rearview mirror. That's dust. And, and, it just is. It, they, they, it, it, now it's it's Taylor Swift. Who in the fuck knows what it's going to be two months from now? And how do you even, if you're asked to comment on this, I, what, what can you say? You're just so, you, it's so crazy. You're, you're flummoxed. You're, you're flummoxed that, that, Roger Goodell and, and CBS and some, I don't know, ESPN and The Athletic are, are all have this whole thing rigged. And fuck, this is not a fringe thing. You, you forget that Mike Johnson has covenant eyes. He has a teenage son, and he spies on his computer habits. You got to understand this level of insanity permeates. This is not fringe. This is mainline shit that is in real danger of becoming dominant forces in, in, in the government of the United States. That's that's my entire message here. It, it seems funny to us. It seems funny to me. It seems funny that you're going to arrest someone for, for jerking off. Shit, watch out. They're not very far from taking over. I, I, I have just lost faith in people's ability to discern hypocrisy, uh, goofiness, uh, anything like that. I, I, I'm sure I'll snap out of this funk I'm in. But, of course, you know, Langford and, and Murphy and everybody starts with the premise that this is a legit deal. Yeah, some people think we have to have really hard border policies. Other people think we should have more closer to open borders. That we're going to support it. It's not even remotely a legit deal to these people. Not remotely, and I don't. I don't think their voters really cared. And I, if you turn on the talk radio today, Mark Levin will be screaming at the top of his freaking voice. And that they're not, it's just not, it's just a different world. I don't know how to say it, but it's just a different world. I, 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 I would love to be wrong. You know, I don't know if it's, a, it's not really an argument. It, it's just a, we, we live in a world where 
events really matter to anything or is it just all this how freaking nutty chris roy about chip roy worked for ted cruz he kind of came up through the texas you know republican hierarchy and he's not he's not even considered to be in the top 25 honestly I, I, I'm too depressed trying to think of, but he he's not a, at the Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Bobit, Clay Higgins, Andy Gosar, Ralph Norman. Uh, yeah, he, he's he's got he he's got a lot of work to do when he wants to break into that crowd. I mean, I mean, how is Trump ahead of Biden after everything else? After after inciting a freaking riot after. God knows every kind of crime you can commit and being adjudicated rape, rape, business fraud. And, you know, we just got to keep plugging away. But there's precious little evidence that any of this stuff shakes, you know, and then you got, you know, my thing is we, we'll just normalize it. We'll say, well, they got to have their view and you have your view and people will determine what their vision for the country is come November. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, you know, I, she seems, uh, he's a football player. She, people have a right to date who they want. I, I find it kind of fascinating. I don't, wouldn't, wouldn't, couldn't name one of her songs. I feel she doesn't really care. Uh, I'm, uh, it just, it's just the evidence of how insane they are. For my outrage, and this is something that I think, believe, and if you look at my YouTube channel from my very first lecture, and go to the Daily Beast, which is actually a pretty good place, and a guy named Roger Solinger, he's written a bunch of breaking news stories about <clears throat> the Christian nationalist movement and their tie to Mike Johnson. People have no idea what this is. They have, we're going to talk to a little bit to, with Professor Willens about this. They have no idea of how dangerous this is, and they have no idea of how close they are to setting government policy. Right? This is some of the craziest shit that you never heard of. This, this is basically says that uh, Jesus gave uh, James Madison the Constitution, and it was all written for, for the protection of Christians. It's so far out there. And they all have money. A lot of shit comes out of Louisiana, a whole lot. The National Policy Council, look at how much money they're sitting on. All right, read Mr. Solinger's story. And, of course, if Trump gets in there, they have all of the resources you know, Leonard Leo has a billion fucking dollars. A billion dollars. All right? That's all the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. And and now they're going through it. I think they call it Schedule 5, where they, they're having these plans, where the, the Christian nationalists, the heritage, some goofy right-wing thing, is already scouring people to put them all in the government Right now, if the election was held today, Trump would be a favorite. He wins, and this is going to become the policy of the United States. And you have to read this. You have to. And it, the, the Times and the Post, they don't fucking know. All right? If we're waiting on them to tell us this, they have no idea of how powerful, how financed, and how deep this whole dominionism, it's all the same stuff. Christian nationalism, uh, Russia's, Rush Dooney, you know, crazy these people are. And they are no less than a 45% chance that they're going to be all over the federal government. And, and Trump don't care. They'll, they'll say, you can steal all you want. And you can amass all the power you want, and we'll just run the government. Trump don't care. And these are all going to be people that are going to be loyal to you, sir. It's great. And then they're going to take it over. <laughs>